This is the Indian MIUI 12 Stable Beta. Let's get started. So guys, as you can see, I'm running the latest version of MIUI 12 Global Stable. This is actually the Indian Stable, not the actual Global Stable. And as you can see, I'm running it on my Redmi K20 Pro. And the first thing I when I, when I installed this ROM was, the first thing I noticed was it is actually really smooth. Like the control center comes out really, really smooth. But then the biggest MIUI 12 feature is missing. And then, so firstly, I went ahead. Normally what I would do is just enable full screen gestures. And I was surprised because it does not support the new gestures yet. It, as you can see, it just it's really buggy right now. And that is because this ROM uses the POCO launcher, which does not support the MIUI 12 new gestures right now. I'm guessing that those will be out pretty soon. So don't really worry about it. You can continue using your phone with the uh, with three button navigation but if it really if you really care about it you cannot use this rom at least for right now and if it's especially if it's urgent for you for whatever reason you cannot use this rom let me see if there is an update for poco launcher and um oh okay there is actually an update so let's quickly do an update maybe maybe that gets us the new gestures all right so i just installed the update and obviously we still don't have the new gestures as you can see and uh, yeah that is just i mean i'm guessing it should be out pretty soon because they released the rom and the gestures are not working so it should be out in a week or so i guess but yeah you'll lose the biggest new it feature and those are the new gestures and let's see if it has the super wallpapers which i'm guessing it should otherwise it's a big shame so let's go here and then well let me see if i have chinese right now in region well, yeah, so in order to fix it, you can flash the, oops, you can flash the region fix zip, which I haven't. But anyway, so your your theme store will not be in Chinese, so don't really worry about that. Mine is just Chinese because mine is the Chinese device. But anyway, so what we need to do is go ahead into wallpapers, super wallpapers, and indeed they are supported. So let's quickly apply the wallpaper and turn on um, AOD. So I need to actually um, keep it on always just for now so let's see and indeed it is working so at least you get the new wallpapers and actually this is actually quite smoother and I'm guessing because they're not using the new gestures but anyway what you have to do is basically continue using the ROM as is uh, and the good thing about Poco Launcher is you can customize the icons which is the biggest feature I want in the normal MIUI launcher but anyway we're not here to discuss about that but that is uh, basically about it you will obviously not get the new focus mode thingy because it uses the global thingy which is uh, the digital well being instead but anyway that is uh, I guess that's basically about it if you have any questions leave them down in the description because I don't really know what else to talk about it is basically other than that the same as every other MIUI 12 ROM and a few features here and there will be missing so let's quickly check on the security app and see how that goes yeah this one looks the new one and let's see if we enable dark mode we will get a transition yeah it actually does transition well mm -hmm. let's see there we go yeah see the transition is working well and this is what I like. This is one of the great features about MIUI 12. So guys, the first step of the installation is actually booting into your recovery. In this case, I'm using Orange Fox Recovery. And so the first step is actually just uh, wipe system, deal with cache and data and vendor. So firstly, uh, once you've done that, uh, let me do that real quick. Once that's done, you actually need to flash the ROM. But because my device is the Chinese device and not the Indian device, it's going to give me the error the device error so basically i'll have to modify this zip i'll do it real quick but if you have an indian device it should just flash continue flashing i'll just quickly modify this uh, file and uh, i will reflash so guys once you've copied over the file all you have to actually do is extract it so let's do that real quick and then we'll extract all of this it's going to take some time so let it just do its thing all right so once extracted what you need to do is open it up and then there will be a file called compatibility.zip and just delete it go into i've actually already done this part so go into here and then google and android and then open this with um notepad so there'll actually be two lines before this 
like there will be two lines before show underscore progress so what you need to do is erase those two lines and then just save this file once it's saved you can close it and then go back to this folder this folder now you need to do zip these files up don't go here and then zip here just zip like this and then add to archive and then make sure to select zip and then okay so let's just uh, wait for it and then just copy the zip to your phone and then we'll continue flashing all right guys once you've completed copying your file back all you need to do is simply flash it and now you will not get that error again so let's quickly flash it okay so guys it's almost done but right now if you're not if you are actually if you're encrypted you can just reboot right now once it's done and if it gets stuck in the boot loop then you'll have to go back to the recovery and then uh, flash um, uh, then just format data but firstly I recommend uh, whatever you have just fla just um, format data and then copy uh, DFE if you're actually if you're not if you're encrypted you can uh, basically copy um, basically just uh, go here and then um, uh, uh, manage partitions data and then format data if you're actually encrypted and then copy uh, DFE and Magisk uh, from your computer because if you don't do that TWRP will re be replaced by the MIUI recovery so I'm not encrypted already so I can simply flash uh, DFE and then I'm gonna also flash pass reset just to prevent uh, that password error if you know what I'm talking about but anyway uh, these two files and then also uh, that is uh, basically it just they won't take too long and then we can reboot but uh, yeah I recommend not staying encrypted if you're switching ROMs almost every day like me otherwise definitely going with encryption but once that's done you can just reboot to recovery okay so guys if it still boots back to the recovery and doesn't boot into the rom you will have to wipe your format or basically format data so quickly go ahead and do that manage partitions and obviously take a backup right now because right now you can transfer all the files so just uh, format data and then basically you'll all you lose all your data but then it will actually start and this is just due to encryption errors because i was coming from an aosp rom but it doesn't happen when i'm going to rom such as xiaomi eu because they've modified this stuff to work with different types of encryption and stuff like that but with official ROMs it happens quite often that I have to format data in order to boot to the ROM so now it's for sure gonna boot into the ROM but anyway before I leave let me show you guys some other things if I go here into about phone and all specs and firstly it's using the January March of May first May security patch that is pretty much the latest security patch well it didn't get the june one yet but anyway so uh, that is uh if you have any other questions leave them down in the description and do subscribe because it really helps me because of how hard i have to work for all the content but anyway that is basically about it this is Fuzal hamid from mr tech boss signing off